Lockie here again guys, um, running out of camera time so I'm going to only do one more knot today. I'll show you two ways of doing it though. Alpine butterfly, it's also another anchor knot. Great knot for tying in vertical rescue. Very easy knot. Not that I'm recommending that you wrap rope around your wrist or your hands a lot, but this is one way of tying it. Take the rope, wrap it around your hand once, around your hand twice, and then around your hand a third time in the middle. Take the front part of the rope, give yourself some slack, and put it through the palm of your hand. That creates for you a knot called an alpine butterfly. That's what it should look like. It's dressed properly. If it doesn't look like that, it's not an alpine butterfly. It's probably a death knot, and you don't want to be over the edge hanging on something that's not right. That's what an alpine butterfly looks like. Great knot because it can take weight three ways. So probably about 70% of the rope, the, the, the capacity of the rope, this can take on each angle. If you've seen something like that before, looks like a great fishing rig, doesn't it? And it's a good one if you tie fishing knots, or you go use them for fishing. Good knot to use. That's an alpine butterfly. I'll quickly show you it once more, and I want to show you another way to tie it. Like I said, we're running out of video time. Once, twice, through the middle, take, give yourself a bit of slack, take that, poke it near the palm of your hand and through. Pull it tight. This knot just about dresses itself every time. Should look like that. If it doesn't look like that, you've got it wrong. Don't use it in your system. That's an alpine butterfly. I said I'd show you two ways to tie it. Just in case this is tied off somewhere and you need to put an alpine butterfly in your line, somewhere along the way you're going to use it because you want to use it maybe for a diversion or something else. This is another way of doing it. Twist the rope. Put your thumb in there after the first twist. Got that? Twist it again. Now this might get a little bit confusing. That bit that you dropped, take under the rope and poke through the hole where your thumb was. Pull it tight. Do you remember what that alpine butterfly looked like that we showed you before? If it doesn't look the same, which it does, it's not done right. Okay? Let me show you it once more. And I'm, I'm stressing this, guys, because this is an anchor knot that we hang on, yeah? It could mean your life. So let's just try it again. Twist it. You've got that double loop already. I twisted it twice. It goes under itself, and I try to usually keep, I try to usually keep my thumb there so I can get it and put it through where your thumb is. It's a hard knot to tie, but once you get adept at it, it's quite easy. If it looks like that, it's right, okay? That's an alpine butterfly. Look, really appreciate you guys having a look at us online. Um, there's a lot of people subscribing to us and we appreciate it. We've got more in this series of vertical rescue and how to. You've been looking at both how to tie knots, how to set up gear, how to put it on there. Um, please don't do this unless you've got some training. This is just to give you a heads up on what you'll do if you come and do some training with us. www.diamondprotection.com Have a look at what we're doing out there. See what training we're doing. If you like it, um, contact us on, on our website, okay? But please don't do this sort of stuff and set this sort of gear up if you haven't been trained for it. This is just a how-to and give you an idea of what you can expect when you come and do a course with Diamond Protection. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you soon.